All right, we're gonna turn this music off because it's driving me crazy. It is amazing. I am so into it. Diamond City Radio. So you're currently in Diamond City. What are you trying to do right now? What's your mission? I don't fucking know, Fry. The open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Miss Piper? Ooh, just Piper. Doing your job. Oh, look at their Diamond green City text right there that says out, Piper. That it? That's too much to ask. Look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Whoa. In that article you wrote so high. Okay, so we gotta talk to her, I assume. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Hmm. Damn it, Danny! Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. I just got here, but wow. Yeah. That's coming off. Yeah, it looks like you're ready for a baseball game. Well, I am at a baseball What's stadium. That? You said you're oh. a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one to learn one. about losing out no. on all the supply? Jeez, all There's right. leg pieces, chest pieces, and arm pieces, and helmets. Give me a minute. Is there a way to put away your gun, I think? Should be. That's true. Whoops! Huh. Don't mind us. Um. Is that it? Quit doing things. You're making it worse. Maybe I have to hit B and do it that way. What, just manually unequip it? Yeah. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. I wonder. I wonder if we can romance someone. Let's go romance someone. You're Maybe married. It may be to a corpse, Shaper. but you're still married. Let you back inside. No, she's dead. She's, she's dead. dead. She's dead. Shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped inside. apart. She, she's a reporter. Yeah. She already said that, Fry. Will you pay attention, please? I find it incessantly difficult. But you're drinking and eating, so. Let's just talk hey, to guys. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw Blah. free speech in the Blah. dumpster. Is that the mayor? Probably. <laughs> Look at me, I'm about ready to punch him. Um... Uh, Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. <laughs> Safe, happy, Rich a people, fine huh? place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Um, you want to be you want to be mean to this guy? Uh, can you be neutral? Yeah. Whatever. I'm not gonna be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that really got you, huh? Um, just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? My son. An infant boy. Kidnapped. We don't know he's an infant. Did but... you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you've been uh, Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident That's that you up. can find help here. Yeah. Diamond City to has every conceivable Seen service known to man. Yeah, she's starting to hint that he's a dick. He's definitely sucking up. Yep. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for oh, any more questions. I'm a busy man. Wow, he closed Enjoy down. Your yeah, stay he's, in our fair he's like, sorry, I'm gay. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Diamond City security can't spare one officer uh, to help. 
I want the truth, McDonough. You know, she's kind of real reason security. She's kind of really, I've had really enough pushy of this, too. From now yeah. on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big diamond city welcome from the mayor. Do you hmm. feel honored yet? Yeah, kind of. Look, I gotta go get settled in, but um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Oh no, is this... Is this like a snuff film? Well, no, I was thinking uh, Fallout 3 where that lady that was making that manual that gave you a bunch of missions to do. Yay! Why are you still not wearing clothes? Because I don't want to. You know what? You gonna keep complaining about it? I'll show you. Oh my god. And you're only doing this because you're in the city. Yep. It's safe. Hey, sweetie. Are you paper to newcomers? Okay. If the institute okay. grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. <laughs> wow. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you. She sounds too. like she has a 12 year old voice, but her face looks like she's 18. I would not say that, no. I would say she looks like 13, maybe. Oh, really? I she seems you. really tall. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scaver in the Commonwealth. So what are you looking for, huh? Scaver. Scavenger? A baby boy. He was... kidnapped. A baby? Wow, that's a new one. Usually uh. it's adults. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. That's unfortunate. Missing people mean uh -huh. what no institute? one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, nice. Mr. Nick Valentine. Ooh, He's Mr. Not Nick Valentine. Of anyone. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember. Institutes out there, newcomer. What year was this supposed to be? Hyper, when bad. she was like 1960, 1950? Uh, what? When the bomb went off? Yeah. 21st century. 21st century? Yeah. That wasn't the. Yeah, it was. It was a parallel. Hey, the know? whole. I was gonna say because. I no, I shut can't. up. The whole theory behind it is that um, instead of the nuclear bomb scaring everybody into you know shying away from nuclear power instead encouraged people and they developed more uh, nuclear solutions instead of electronic and stuff like that. Okay, so my point was that she well, it appears that she's wearing a push-up bra and I didn't think they had those in 1950, but if it was the 21st century, I assume that technology had reached a point where they discovered, not discovered, but um, made push-up bras. Does anyone fight back? I don't know why it matters. Why are you going to the sign with the heart? Valentine, the detective. Ah, perfect. You've played this before. No, I haven't. I was just listening, you dummy. Is he wearing a dress? ties. She wearing a dress. No, that's not. No, that's her assistant. Stray coming in from the rain. Raised you too late. Office is closed. I really haven't played this before. This is really good timing. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time. This, it's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just. I like the detective. Arm thing. Missing. The red, white, and blue thing. Looks like a sock. Looks like a tube sock cut open. Don't at the worry. Bottom. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. Skinny Malone's. Uh, I told big, Nick he was walking into a trap, uh, but Fat Tony. He just smiled and walked yeah, out Fat the Tony. door like he always does. You never heard of Fat Tony? No. Okay, okay. Hey, I'd love to help. Big but don't, just don't fucking worry about it. Expenses. Okay. Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. Uh, wow. That's decent. Should have just done it for USA. free. I'll find him. 
You have oh, one. I always hit it Thank yellow, you. almost. Nick should be always, easy to except spot. Always He's person. always wearing the old really hat and it. trench coat getup. Please, hurry. All right. Malone. Well, now we gotta find this guy to find her baby boy. So, uh, we leveled up. Let's spend the point and call in it, so. So you're gonna put it on perception? Perception? Yep. I think when we get three more points to that, we get the next one. Big pocket. That's good. Cool. Which I don't ever fucking use, but whatever. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I just punched a wall. My hand's broken. We'll see how that turns out in the next episode. It's something. Oh, I, shit! I'm not saying... Why are you beating your dog? <laughs> I didn't mean to. Correct. I'm sorry.